So let me open up the mixer here. I'm going to turn on my handy dandy little tool that allows these all to kind of stretch and compress with what I have going on down here. So here's my mixer. What do we have going on that's new? Well, the first thing that's new is we have our groups up top here, just above where our automation lanes are. So this mix hasn't even gotten to the point where I'm grouping it, but you know, I do something like grab my all of my vocals here and I'd assign them to a group and open my group settings and say, okay, well, these are vocals. And these are all of the things that are going to be followed when I'm working on vocals. So that's great. That means I move these faders. They all move together. My panning would all move together. My uh, automation state, those would all move together. That's pretty cool. Um, but there's this extra thing down here called a VCA fader. If I click and hold, see it says create new VCA fader for selected channel strips. If I select that, there's going to be a fader that's created down at the end of my mixer that's going to take all of the vocals because this is this is all of the vocals. And if I turn that fader down, basically the volume of those of everything that's being summed together on all of those channel strips, I'm just attenuating their volume sum. So even though they have a group and the group allows me to like, you know, change one of these faders and they all move together and the pans all move together and all these moves are great and all the automation moves together. Well, the VCA is outside of all of that. It basically, it's just attenuating the volume of everything that's coming out of these tracks, which is great. It's a wonderful thing to happen at the end of your mix process where you may be overloading the output bus a little bit. You just grab your VCA faders and you do your final mix with groups. Um, but not groups like this, not where you're actually pulling a fader and they all the faders move together relative to each other, but you're just taking the entire audio energy of that stuff and just pulling it down. So that's VCA faders, and that's very, very cool. Now I want to talk a little bit about what the compressor looks like in Logic, because they radically changed that. <laughs> very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.